G'day folks, back by popular demand, this blue shirt. You guys were laughing at me last time I wore it. You were telling me I need to throw it out. I've only just finished wearing it in. It's just gotten to that stage where it's really comfortable. So tonight I'm wearing it fishing with my mate Brett, Brett Corker, who's standing up there. Brett and I are gonna go and see if we can catch a Murray Cod at the end of this crazy humid day. Got him! A <laughs> little one! I'm on the wrong side of the log, bro. I can't even see him. I'm gonna have to give him a bit of a heave. I know you're not supposed to do this, but I'm on the wrong side of the log. I'll, keep, I'll make it quick. <laughs> no, God, no. No, he'd be lucky to be 35. Nah. No! Oh. Yeah, I've got some down here, thanks, mate. There you go, folks. First cod of the night. Lovely little Murray cod. Maybe 38 centimetres at best, I reckon. Caught on the green old mate lure. And you know I'm going to stick a link below to where you can buy this one online. And he's going to dig a hook in my eye if I don't uh, get the pliers and get him unhooked. So... There he goes. Had a few casts here in this really nice looking spot. Then I leant over this tree and I strategically placed a, a cast over there with pinpoint accuracy and I slowly walked my lure through there. It was a nice slow roll. Then BANG! That hungry little Murray Cod hit it. Am I talking crap? No. I'm not actually, I'm telling the truth. Exactly. Just in a unique kind of a way. Gum. Oh, look, big red belly black snake. There he goes, swimming across the river. Funny, Brett and I were only saying 10 minutes ago we haven't seen many snakes this season. That's really cool. There he is, he just stuck his head up out in the middle of the river down there. He's swimming across. Look how fast he's going. He's a huge snake. That was really cool. I heard a noise. He's fallen down the bank, then swam across the river. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure they will. Oh, you know, we were talking just before about how we haven't seen a snake yet this year. Yeah. We haven't seen many snakes. You saw one? I just saw the biggest black snake. Bullshit. No, nah, I kid you not. You got it on film? Yeah. Oh. I was standing there. Oh, no. I, I was standing there and I heard this noise and I looked behind me. It was like a thud. It was this massive black snake about six foot long. Jesus. It's fallen off the high bank into the sort of the roots now because now it's sort of yeah, undercutting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it swam across the river at lightning speed. Oh, it went under the water, then it came up and stuck its head out. You might even see the video, it's pretty cool. Oh man. Got him. Oh, I lost him. Yeah, not a bad boil over there. He came from right in front of that thing. I felt a bit of weight, so I don't think he'll be back. Never know though. A lot of them aren't coming back, are they? He might come back later for a surface poppy. Oh, he tapped it. Got him. Oh, I missed him again. He drag might be a bit too loose. To my third time lucky. You know you want it. I'm just tightening me drag up, so it probably won't come back now. Just finished saying they don't come back for a second go and then you come back for a second go. <laughs> they don't come back for a third go. 
<تصفيق> اوه I've just tightened my drag up. I reckon if your drag's too loose, the hooks don't set in their mouth. Oh, got him! That's a little one, this one. That's it. I wonder if it's the same one. I thought he wasn't a big fish, but I thought he was bigger than that. What's that? Could be a different fish. Yeah, that's right. There you go. Love a little Murray cod. Very small. He'd be lucky to be 30 centimetres, this one, Brett. That's right. All right, little Murray Cotton is going to spear you back in. See you later, mate. We've got two on the board. The old mate has claimed two victims. Got him. That was a nice fish too. That should have been Brett's fish. I got him, bro. This should have been Brett's fish because he unselfishly told me to go first when I told him to go first. There's a nice Murray Cod. I'm gonna drag him up here into the shallows so we can get a photo of him. Rightio, beautiful Murray Cod. He'd be nudging 50 centimeters. Lovely dark fish. See ya, buddy. <laughs> Swam off very, very well. You beauty. <laughs> See that? Tiny little weeny one. That was a tiny fish. Tiniest, weeniest little buff on the buzz jet. Right there. I actually felt him hit it. He was a really small fish, eh? Got him. Oh, look at the size of him. You could have been joking. That is a Murray cod, it's a trout cod. Oh, trout cod. I caught a small trout cod here with young Connor the other week. But it was actually bigger than this, I'm pretty sure. That is a tiny little trout cod. It's got his gills out, which means he's quite stressed. Straight back in the river for you, buddy. <laughs> it was a tiny trout cod. The last trout cod I caught was right here in exactly the same spot, and it was about the same size. But I reckon the one I got that night with Connor was just a little bit bigger. That was, um, that was very small. <laughs> but a fish is a fish bread. It's just another score on the board. That's four for tonight. Nice. nice looking log. Very shallow here though. Got him. Ooh, that was quite a decent size swirl. That was quite a good size swirl, that. I felt a bit of weight, so I doubt that you'll come back. You never know, though. That was the biggest fish of the night by far. That was by far the biggest fish of the night.
got a little one, got him. Frightened the hell out of me. That 100% is not the fish that hit my lure up there a minute ago. That made a boil three foot round. This is just a little Murray cod, probably not even 30 centimeters long. Or is it, that's a trout cod, I think it's hard to see in the low light. I'll bring him over here to the, uh, to where I can get a good look at him. What have we got here? Another little trout cod. Not as small as the last one. I had a nice buff a minute ago. There was two fish under this log. Look at that lovely little trout cod. Caught on the depth buzz jet. Probably 30 centimetres, maybe a little bit under. I'll uh, attempt to get the hook out of here, buddy. There we go. Beautiful trout cod. See ya, mate. Off he went. The first fish that hit the lure over there was a much bigger fish. That was quite a decent fish. That made a really nice swirl about two or three feet round. I, I am sure there were two different fish. You just had a buff there, did you? Back there. You had two back there, did you? Out, very small, just on the chew. I was waiting for it. Brett's had a buff on the codger. One hit wonder. Oh, you got him. Brett is on. <laughs> that was a nice sounding buff. No, not as big as a fork. Nice fish, bro. What is it? Yeah. 50? Nah, nah, it should be only 40. Be only 40 is that. Oh, no, he'd be 45. Great fish, anyway. Yeah, I got a fish, yeah. <laughs> and I'm not in. Great stuff. Cool. Brett's just releasing this fish. Gone. Great work, bro. Thanks, mate. Love you. On the board. Work. Righty, folks, I've got to film my second closing scene. I already filmed the closing scene where I mentioned I caught five cod and Brett didn't catch any, and then Brett just caught one and stuffed up me uh, final scene, so now I've got to make another one. We've caught six cod, I've got five, and Brett's got one. Brett got a ripper off the surface just now. It may look like I've outfished Brett, but in reality I haven't. Brett is a very, very passive fisherman. He is more than happy to stand back and let me have every cast. It gets to the point where it's like, you go first, no you go first, no you go first. And it's like, if I don't go, no one's going to fish the hole. So, so uh, thank you very much Brett for allowing me to have first cast into so many places. That's why I was able to catch five and Brett caught one. We've had a fantastic night. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Also, just a couple of quick shout outs. I'd like to give a shout out to Murray Crab Fishing. Check out Murray Crab Fishing on YouTube. I'll put a link above. Uh, Dinger and his wife Tegan run a nice little channel there in the same sort of areas I fish. They also include a little bit of saltwater fishing and they reach sort of areas further away than I ever go. Also another shout out to uh, Rowan from RKJ Fishing. Rowan once again is from further west over near, near Elmore. Rowan's got a great channel. He does a lot of redfin fishing over that way and carp fishing and now he's doing a bit of Murray Cod fishing. Uh, Brett and I have been fishing with these guys last Saturday night. We had a fantastic time. They made videos and they gave us a big shout outs and we didn't end up making any videos so they didn't get a shout out in return. So this is their shout out. Murray Crab Fishing, RKJ Fishing, check them out. Great blokes, great channels. And don't forget to check out Brett's channel, Cod Gobbler, Cod Gobbler 01. The only man that doesn't gobble cod but calls his channel Cod Gobbler. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video if I survive walking off this log without breaking my neck. <laughs>